Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On Our Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or video requests, make sure to drop on the line in comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos so far on Shopify customization and they were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now I'll be sharing complete sections and widgets, highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique, professional, without having to rely on those expensive teams or hiring those expensive developers or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and is not a very good idea for long term project. But I'll give you a better deal. Scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I'll let you decide and I respect your decision. But for now, let me fulfill again one of the most requested videos, which is how to add the sticky add to cart button on your Shopify product page completely free and without using any applications. And it's very, very flexible and very responsible mobile and of course on tablets and so on. And yeah, the best part about this is completely free. So I would really appreciate if you hit that like button and leave me a comment. I do, I do actually reply to each comment, so I would reply to you. And it will also motivate me to share more free things with you guys because a lot of people will copy the code, make their own videos, and that can be demotivating. So your comment will motivate me to share more free things to you to make you happy and make them happy too so they can find what to copy basically. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with a completely new team, nothing on it. In each video I add small customizations, but a video like 70 or 60, the team will be completely different. But now I reach that level halfway. For example, check out this scroller logo with the fader at the corner as you can see, and it stops at the hover. And also you can add links to each icon. Or even better, check out recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and it's highly customizable. It has many colors, many options. You can actually pick to who to show up to. I mean, the recent notifications, recent sales notifications. If you want to show it only to like uh, new visitors or returning visitors, yes, you can pick that and many, many more things. Or you want to see something that will make you more money? Check this out. As you can see, I added three products to the cart, but I didn't check out. And this is the mouse cursor, right? I will act just like I want to leave or close the page and this thing would show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out and by using your own custom code again. But I will quit now and let you decide actually. So let me close this one. And as I said, we will add a sticky add to cart uh, button on the product pages. But this team is full of stuff as you can see. Down team is like, for example, if I access this product, it has so many stuff. Even the wishlist system with the icon on the header, as you can see, and a button here. I did that in tutorial, so this one has so many stuff. I will do demonstration on the new one, Horizon. And this is the exact same steps will work on every Shopify team. Whatever, if it's paid or custom-made team from Team Forest or whatever, it will work for you just fine. So let me close this one and let me access Horizon, which is this one. So here we go on the product page. If I access this one, it will not show me the sticky, as you can see. Let me actually hide this one. So there is no sticky uh, add to cart anywhere in here. That's exactly what we would add, and it will be across all your product pages at once. You don't have to add it to each product. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on the three dots on the left of customizing here, the team you are using. In my case, I'm gonna do it in here because I'm doing it on Horizon, then click on edit code. And after that, it will open up the code editor for your Shopify team. And on the left panel, you see this folder right here, it says sections, simply click on it to be expanded, then click on the first one that says add a new section. And a new prompt will show up again, which is where to name the section or what to name the section, sorry. So basically name it uh, sticky dash add to cart. Or you can actually name it anything, it doesn't matter. Just make sure you name it something different so it doesn't conflict with other files. So click on done after that, just the name for it, do not type in the extension. Then delete, it will create by default some code in here, delete the whole code in it, simply keep it empty. Then in here we need to paste in the code for the sticky add to cart. And where are you gonna get that code? You need to hire a developer, pay him with 24 hours, then check the code. I'm just joking, scroll down the description box 
and you will see a link my website completely free again as i said i would really appreciate if you hit that like button leave me a comment i do reply to each comment so i would reply to you as i said completely free then simply download a zip file and inside it you will find that liquid file then open it with any text editor on your computer copy the whole code inside it then simply paste it in here that was very simple right after that simply click on the save button all my tutorials include just copy and paste so no worries uh, you can do this even if you're like five years old now just get back to the shopify dashboard then click on customize button for the team you are using or where you did add the code basically in my case i'm doing it on horizon so i'm going to access horizon then i need to switch to the product page from here because we said we want to add it on the product page obviously so click on the uh, home page then select products and select the default template for the product you're using in my case i'm using the default one and now just for the cleaner demonstration let me switch to a different product actually it doesn't matter or let me just i don't confuse you guys let me actually stay here because it will add the add to sticky add to cart button across all your products at once so in here on the left panel you will see template as you can see then simply click on the last one which is add a new section click on it and it will show you this prompt and simply search for sticky uh, it didn't show up sometimes if we did things faster it doesn't show up let me reload the page this is actually a good example so even it didn't show up for you, you might be confused say oh it doesn't work no it, it does actually now if i click on uh, add new section and here is i see it it says on how sticky as you can see so simply click on it if you don't you can't find it simply use the search bar and search for this name on how sticky then click on it and it will show the sticky add to cart here is as you can see it's very stylish it has the variant selector you can select the variant it has the quantity selector you can add the quantity and of course the add to cart button and the product title and the price and the picture and you can pick which thing to show which thing to hide obviously so on the left panel on the right panel sorry you will see the settings right here which is the background color for the sticky add to cart because this is basically a bar in here so you can change the color this is uh, based on your shopify product page and the color schemes you're using in my case i'm going to keep it as white and this one is the text color which is the text on the uh, the sticky add to cart if you did set like black for the background color obviously you need to change the text color to white so it will be obvious and this one is the font title size which is the product title size in my case i'm going to keep it just demonstration because i always do like the the numbers or the values for each options i do the optimal one that will look very good so by default it will look very good as you can see it's, it's perfect like this and also if you did make it too too large some products will have long title it will not look good so in here you can actually show if you wanna if you wanna show the title on the mobile and this is very good because on the mobile it's not really required to show the title he can already the user can already or the customer can already see the product title and the product images because it's sticky it doesn't have to see the product title two times in order to buy it no it, it's not really required so i will hide it on the mobile and this one is show product images so if you want to show the product image on the sticky heart a sticky card sorry i'm going to keep it and this one show quantity field i'm going to keep it as well and below is the button uh, background color so by default it will actually match the style of your uh, add to cart button as you can see mine is mine is black so here is black you can change that if you want in my uh, in my case i'm going to keep it just black and below is the text color and the last options below are the spacing so the top spacing bottom spacing for optimal use i'm going to keep them as zero. Zero is perfect as you can see it's very thin looks good perfect and this one is custom css if you want to add a custom css to this section to make it more customized and also if you want to add more options just drop me a comment below i will be happy to help you out so click on the save button now if we get back to the product page and reload the page and it will show up here it is as you can see it's very handy you can add actually the products you can add uh, how many products you want you can select the variant as you can see uh, in my case is gold and silver and if i switch to the mobile let me actually switch to the mobile and show you how it looks like because everything on this channel is optimized for mobile as well if i reload the page and here it is as you can see it's sticky on the mobile and even if i scroll down it will stay visible add to cart quantity selector a variant selector and the product image as you can see and of course if i click on add to cart it will add the product to the cart here is as you can see it was added and that's how you add the sticky add to cart on your shopify product page by using your own custom code no applications involved and completely free so i would appreciate if you hit that like button leave me a comment otherwise i think my job is done so thanks for watching catch you on the next one